YouTubers, welcome back. We have our second official test. Uh, thank you very much for all the comments and stuff, and I'm sorry about the wind noise on the camera. Um, we are now doing just one panel on the ground. Now, if I walk around that panel so it doesn't get shaded, there we go. We've got the hot water system sort of sitting in the corner here. Now, I have got the trolling motor battery powering it, so it's about 16 volts, and it's putting in seven, almost eight amps into the batteries. Uh, I don't actually, like one thing that intrigues me is when we get the voltage here and if I actually can do this one handed. Now I did attach as you can see, there we go, we've only got 7.8 volts out of the solar panel. Now I don't think, if it, I, don't, I think that's just because it's getting drawn down or because we're, we're measuring it through, no we're not for measuring it through a resistive element. But it's only seven, seven volts. So I guess this is part of the learning process. I'm just for today, just trying to see if it warms up the water. I've got some water plumbed in here through my hose. Um, I've bent this pipe, I've sort of taken this pipe down because it was up the top here. And then I've got the excess water going out that way. Hoping not to wet any of this, but I don't plan on turning it on. And I don't think at that rate it's going to heat up very much. Now it's been going already for half an hour. I can't feel any heat in any of that. That is definitely turned on. So to, to power that, just for a little bit of extra information, that wire there is going onto that terminal. I don't know what you can read on that. And then that one is the negative. No, that one's actually the positive. So it's coming up to the positive terminal here. And I've just got that on a couple of bits of board to, you know, insulate it just a little bit. And then the negative comes, so this one, this cable here that's moving around, comes through this thermostat and then back down into the, um, the, the SSD, the, not SSD, the solid state relay. And then back out again and then it powers back up this cable here and then goes to the negative on the trolling motor battery. So if I was to put the clamp meter, let's make sure that's close enough to zero it out on that. It hardly even registers. Now, if I put this phone down for three seconds, loop it around twice. Again, drawing, drawing practically no amps at all from that battery pack to run that relay. So, here we are tubers, what do you reckon? I upload this or I wait until I get to the afternoon? Actually, no, I'm gonna wait till the afternoon. Wait until the afternoon, see what, we hap see what happens with the hot water and stuff like that. So, I'll butt these two pieces of whatever you could call it. There's certainly not videos together. We'll have a look. We'll have a look behind the panel here as well. It's just a single panel, uh, Canadian solar. I'll read it out just in case you can't read it. 250 watts, uh, VMP is 3.1 volts, or 30.1 volts. Uh, what has it got? Optimal current, IMP, 8.3 amps. And 37 volts and 8.27 amps short circuit. Max 100 volts, uh, maximum solar rating 15 amps. I'm not, again, I don't know how much you can see of that, but it is certainly an old panel. I got one of these off eBay or something like that. And if you look at all the tracks, some of them are like burnt up. I don't know if they're burnt up or failing or whatever, but it doesn't matter. This is what we do, a bit of recycling, a bit of fun. Right out tubers, we are about an hour into this little test. Turn that back on again. Still doing seven amps. The panel's there. Still in full sun, however, the, 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 the shade is creeping over. Um, just got my thermal camera out to try and do a thermal reading of it, but it was flat. But that doesn't look like, and I didn't do it before I started, but it's only 21, 22 degrees. That, I believe that there is where the tank is. There's no insulation on it, so I'm assuming it's a tank. And given that the thermostat is right there, and that hasn't changed temperature very much at all. There's no hot spots. Move the, the temperature sensor all around. There's no hot spots with any of the cables or anything. But I definitely think the fact that that's only showing like seven volts or something going in, 
I'm going to have to parallel or series up some panels and see what it's going to take to do this, but still a valid test, so I'll let it run until it gets shade on the panel. I guess tomorrow we'll do it a second test and the next day we'll do a third test and see what we come up with and I'll see if I can make this into a video that's even somewhat interesting. Anyway, tubers, I'll see you in an hour. Hour and a half has passed and just some conversations when I shared on Facebook. Uh, so I've got an old hot water panel. Proper hot water panel. This side looks all right. It looks pretty, I don't know if it's rusted or I'm not sure how it's put together. I was hoping to be able to see a little bit more when I pulled it apart, but I don't know what that's made out of, but she's nice and hot. It's got insulation all the way around the outside and lots of ant nests because it's been sitting, well, my dog's been digging behind it for years. It's literally just been sitting in the dirt. And down on that end is where can we tip it up? bit hard to tip it up and down here is where the other connection is and it's all rusted off and that's I believe that's the reason why it was taken off the roof is because it's just disintegrated there um, I'll see if I can rest this down I'll look at that that'll just come it'll just launch forward a bit I might be able to take that all out yeah Might have to drill some more pop rivets and that whole thing, that whole panel's going to come out which might make it a lot easier to fix. Just got to work out what material that is and of course you can't see it with that much light screwing stuff up. It looks like it's metal because it's rusted, steel. I still want to try that end. Can you... I've got the copper pipe at the other end screwing me up. I'll pull that apart and see if I can get that out and show you. Give me a second, I'll be back. Right here. A few more pop rivets later. I've got some access to this. You can't even see because I'm not looking where I'm actually recording. I wonder. Right here, two hands and three seconds later that comes straight out so I believe that or this area this general area down in that bottom corner is what is all messed up now I wonder I put my fingers behind here I think with a little bit of supple engineering we'll call it There's something up there to feeding us and we can't get that end up but this is this is the more important end lots of insulation as you would expect just peel that off okay well the bloke I got it from said it was unrepairable so I got it all apart and this is why this particular unit was decommissioned, obviously. Just rusted out. But it is rust. I would have expected it to be, um, what do you call it? Copper. But obviously it's all metal and it's just pressed metal. So it just looks like there's tubes joined together. The back side of it is a replication of the front. Head of tanks down either side. I guess, now I'm not very good with welding, but I guess if I was good with welding, I could just cap that off. Down there is where the water come in originally, I believe. And down this end is a like a, maybe a pressure relief valve or something else. I might be able to just tap it in there. So all we need to do is low and then high so we can do thermo siphoning. That might work, but is it worth the effort? Does anybody want to help me try that? Anyway, back to the real story. Rightio tubers, finally got the thermal camera sorted out. Turned up, or turned on, charged up is the word. Check that out. I think that panel's probably past its use by date. A couple of hot cells there. Now I have just come down from pulling apart. Where's my finger? There, you can see the thermal signature up there. 
and that's all the way up to my backyard with the the proper solar hot water system so the thermal siphoning one or whatever you call it pulling that apart you just saw how that went but i thought i'd bring you down here actually i wonder if those cells so it's what three across and three from the bottom yeah she's hot on that side too i wonder if why that's why these panels aren't very efficient maybe the panels are dead i should do a little sharpie mark on each one anyways back over here we have got where the light blue right blue rectangle is there where the cross hatches is that's the actual tank itself i don't know whether that's steel or copper or what either but after a couple of hours two full hours there is no noticeable difference and i can throw my hand down here and touch the tank and that's stone cold it doesn't even feel like it's heated anything up whatsoever so there's no heat in anything there's no heat in any cables uh, let's have a look flick it back to regular video uh, clear, it, clear it off throw the clamp meter around there still doing five amps so i'm not sure why those panels are showing that they're a hot cell well, there's a couple of hot cells there it's got to, it's got to be a fault with the actual panel itself i should check all the rest of them as well i should actually take the load off and then check them again to see if they're all in even heat and i guess if they're all in even heat then i know we've got a problem but at two hours in i think i'm going to call this a video one panel doesn't do it so tomorrow we're going to do a couple of panels maybe maybe grab all four down or the three other ones off the roof that tap on it's just dribbling out I'm trying not to get anything else wet. Just gonna let it run for a bit. I'm figuring that it's gotta, you know, get some water through all these pipes. We're not gonna be technical about this, guys. That's practically stone cold. So I'm gonna call this a fail. I think we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board and, and see what else we can work out. That, 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 that is that is tap water cold it might have the edge taken off it ever so slightly it's not even worth getting a thermometer out that's useless I think this is a dumb idea Pete anyway comment section below like that shit up tell me what I gotta do I'll catch you on the next one